In this video, we are going over everything you need to know if you are looking to move to Ajax to find out if Ajax is the right fit for you. Uh, Ajax has a lot of benefits and a lot of people just don't know a ton about it. So I'm just going to kind of go over everything you need to know, starting exactly from like where it is, everything like that. And we're going to right after this. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel if you've watched my videos before. Uh, as I said in the beginning, this video will just be going over what Ajax is all about. That way, if you are looking to move here, you know just a little bit more in terms of what you need to know if you are looking to move here to make sure it's the right fit for you. Uh, Ajax is for a lot of people, but it's not for everybody. And that's what this video will just kind of uncover. Uh, my name is Brad Gates. I am a local realtor here in the Durham region, and I absolutely love helping people that are looking to move here. I've had people reach out from everywhere uh, that are looking to move here, and I absolutely love it. So if you're looking to move to or from the Durham region, specifically Ajax, if you are watching this video, uh, all you have to do is call, text, email. You can send the carrier pigeon, uh, whatever is easiest for you. And I'm here to make the move and relocation uh, go so much easier. Uh, so we will jump into the video. All of my contact information will be below in the comments and also in the description if you need it. Uh, so let's just jump right into the video and we're getting into it right now. Age ranges, you'll notice there's a huge range of different age brackets. You have the uh, younger families that are just starting out, and then you have the empty nesters that are downsizing. Uh, you do have a bungalow section within the southwest section of Ajax, and uh, it's very popular for empty nesters. Uh, so you do have all types of rackets, and that's why like where we are right now, there's tons of parks, newer homes, older homes, and the one thing that's in common is lots of green space, places to walk, uh, and uh, schools. The schools kind of within Ajax are, uh, are quite good. Um, I think the average with all of Ajax was about 6.5 out of uh, 10 for the Fraser Institute. It hasn't been updated since 2019 so it's quite uh, dated in terms of that uh, it's super cold out here today it's like minus five uh, but wind chill is making it seem quite a bit colder uh, but again i just like to show people what ajax is all about so if you're looking to move you have a better idea the lifestyle uh, so if you are moving to ajax uh, the typical lifestyle you do have a lot of outdoor space green space uh, shopping uh, ajax has a lot of homes and large big box shopping uh, waterfront green space so you uh, do have options you can go out or you can kind of stay home uh, in terms of entertainment you'll have the pickering uh, Ajax Pickering Casino, that's uh, kind of right on the border. Uh, but then you'll also have the Tribute Center in Oshawa, uh, which again has a lot of shows. Uh, I've been there a bunch of times over the last few uh, months, maybe years, uh, with different kids shows, um, hockey games, that kind of stuff. Uh, but then you also have uh, Ajax Downs, which has horse racing, and then another casino there as well. Uh, waterfront right behind me. Uh, it does get quite busy in the summer. Uh, good luck trying to find parking spots. Uh, so that just kind of gives you a little bit of the lifestyle within Ajax. Uh, you are on the go line, so you can commute to Toronto, which makes it much easier uh, for people who are moving here. Uh, just because you do have options. You can drive, but if you don't have a car, you can actually take the go train. In terms of shopping, you have tons of shopping. Uh, the uh, Kingston Road and Salem, Audley, Westney, uh, that's the, the main, main shopping that would have the Costco, uh, Best Buy, grocery stores, uh, shoe stores, clothing, like it has everything there. There's no uh, indoor mall within Ajax, so you would be going to Pickering Town Center or the Oshawa Center, uh, so there's no indoor shopping, uh, but you do have a lot of big box stores. And then towards Taunton and Salem, Taunton and Audley, uh, again, you have a lot of uh, littler plazas, not quite as big as the, uh, the Kingston Road ones. Uh, so you do have 
quite a bit of shopping options. Uh, and then along Bailey, again, you have a lot. I'd done a video uh, last year or the year before about the shopping areas with an Ajax. Uh, so be sure to check that out if you are interested in that. Uh, but again, you have all the shopping options you would need. And then if for whatever reason Ajax doesn't have it, uh, you do have uh, other cities that could be close, specifically Toronto, uh, which would be able to get your more unique things or things that you can't find in the Durham region yet. You have the school districts. Uh, so you have two main school districts that are here. You have the Durham region public school system and then you have the Durham region Catholic school system. Uh, so those are the different boards that are here. Uh, the links to those school boards are in the description of this video. So if you are moving here and you have to register your kids uh, there, <laughs> you, uh, you'll have all the information you need there. Again, the school boards are quite good. Uh, Ajax schools do rank on average about 6.5. Um, and I've done videos on the schools and as soon as the Fraser Institute updates it, I will definitely do uh, another video on that just to update to see what the top schools are uh, now, uh, but we still have to wait for that. So there is the GO train here. So if you are moving here and commuting to Toronto, you do have those options there. Uh, you do have the 401 as well. Uh, 401, very uh, highly traffic road. Uh, plus you have a lot of accidents or uh, just last week in Whitby, the 401 was closed because a truck hit a sign uh, causing the 401 to close. So you have stuff like that. So it is nice to have the option of the GO train. So if you are commuting downtown Toronto, you can get to Union Station. Uh, I'd estimate probably around 40 minutes from Ajax to Union. I figured why not uh, give you a little bit of a driving tour of Ajax kind of as I'm leaving this video at the uh, waterfront. So I'm at the very, very south part of Ajax. And uh, so one of the very first houses I ever sold in Ajax back in 2016, crazy six years ago, uh, was actually in this area. Uh, it was on a street called Quaintance. Uh, so if you're familiar with that, uh, that was my first ever uh, house that I sold within Ajax and uh, it was the first time I really saw what the south part of Ajax had to do and it was an area that was built by uh, Tribute and then also John Body. Uh, so John Body is kind of like the most prom predominant builder here right now. Uh, they're still building and they've been building for uh, quite a, uh, a little while. Uh, so this gives you an idea of the, uh, the homes within the south East section of Ajax. Uh, they are newer, they're early 2000s, late 1990s, but more in the early 2000s. Uh, and they are uh, mixed between like 2000 square foot homes to 2400 square feet homes. They have single car garage, double car garage. They are detached kind of within this area. And then you have a little bit of a um, little plaza here. And then if you continue straight you'll see that uh, it goes into the older section uh, and you do have the uh, townhomes that are uh, kind of right here uh, so these are the condo townhomes I am just heading north on Audley and uh, just to give you a better idea uh, so we're passing the townhomes that are on the, uh, the left right now and on the right is all of the uh, detached uh, they have these uh, speed bumps on Audley because they did have problems with people that were uh, you know going quite fast so they put these speed pumps on where if you hit them fast uh, you'll bottom out <laughs> so you don't want to do that uh, so parks you have a lot of them um, and this is really nice in the, uh, in the the spring or the summer because the leaves have come in there's flowers people do a lot of the landscape the gardening um, it's tree lined street so it's really really it's a nice little community it is one of probably my favorite areas within Ajax. Uh, the only thing to pay attention to, which a lot of people don't really think about when you're living close to the water, is uh, the bugs. Um, so they do actually, actually, sorry, I'll interrupt. So this is Quaint. So this was the uh, very first house that I ever sold in Ajax back in 2016. And uh, we listed it for, oh geez, I think, $6.99 and we ended up selling it for $7.56 or $7.70, $7.75 maybe. Uh, but still back in 2016, that was, that was a good amount. That was a double car garage, about 2,400 square feet. 
uh, so it was quite a big house um, but yeah so that was my first sale on this street uh, i'm happy i was able to share that with you uh, and then you just have uh, all the streets kind of interconnect and they go back to oddly uh, so it's easy to kind of navigate as long as you know where oddly is and it runs north south you are good uh, so we'll just kind of head back go north uh, it's recycling day so you'll see all of the uh, blue bins green bins if you do move here you can reach out to the Durham region and if you're new to the Durham region they actually provide you with the uh, recycling bins you just register on the website uh, you might have to show proof that you actually are moving here so uh, you'll have to provide your old driver's license agreement of purchase and sale whatever you have uh, just to, to kind of do that it's free for your first one so hey why not and they'll actually drop it off to you uh, so you don't have to worry it takes uh, they say seven to ten business days so this is the uh, southeast section of Ajax uh, these homes are built by uh, John body and uh, you can tell because when you're looking at the John body homes they put skylights in the roofs so you can kind of see um, up there to the left i'll do a little arrow to there um, yeah so that was kind of like their little their little trademark uh, but it's uh nice homes good layouts and uh yeah it's been quite quite popular of an area for people moving here and uh, prices have just gone up um, for those that are on the fence on buying right now uh, it's hard to predict what's going to happen with interest rates, with affordability, and people maybe not being able to afford their homes anymore, being forced to sell, people not being able to make mortgage payments. I don't know, uh, but all I do know is prices have come down so much over the last year that uh, compared to what it was, prices have come down. And what will happen, who knows? Uh, but it's one of those things that when the markets are soft like this, uh, it's a good opportunity for people who are buying. Uh, if you try and time the market too perfectly, that's when people miss out. And then next thing you know, market gets crazy again and uh, you just get priced out of the market. Uh, so if you are in the market to buy and you can afford it and your, uh, your plan is a little bit more on the longer term, so you could be looking for yourself. Uh, to actually live and not just uh, invest could be a good time uh, but again like I said I can't predict what's what's gonna happen I just know that uh, it's it's a good time <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah I would uh, you don't want to miss out and so many people when COVID first happened were sitting on the fence I had people pull out of deals because they thought that COVID was gonna kill the real estate market and uh, that home that they they actually had an accepted offer in the 500,000s in Southwest Ajax um, ended up selling like comparable homes hit a million and those same people used a different agent <laughs> to buy their place in Oshawa for 890,000 which was a semi-detached uh, house that needed a full renovation uh, so it's just yeah stuff happens and unfortunately a lot of people got hit hard um, not in a good way and uh, so I'm just driving on Bailey right now uh, you can see in the distance you have condos there um, so that would be towards like uh, Bailey and Westney Bailey and Salem uh, if you go keep go keep keep going then you'll hit San Francisco on the bay within uh, Pickering uh, so I won't go too far into this little tour but I just want to show you the the south east section in Ajax because it is uh, my favorite area within Ajax I like how it's close to the water um, and it's just uh, it's like a little community by itself the only downfall is you are a little bit further away from shopping which you're shopping you have to go Salem and Kingston Road uh, so yeah that's a little bit of the, uh, the tour I hope you enjoyed it uh, be sure to like it if you did uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel uh, lets me know people are enjoying the content that I am putting out there well, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like it. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. That way you're up to date on all videos as I post them. Uh, this video just uncovered what Ajax was all about to give you a better idea in terms of if it's the right city or town for you. I have families reaching out from all over the world and absolutely love it. So if you're looking to move here, all you have to do is call, text, email, send the carrier pigeon, uh, whatever is easiest for you. And I'm here to make the whole move and relocation go so much easier. Uh, thanks for watching 
and uh, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel i do have quite a bit of them uh, so make sure you have time but uh yeah thanks for watching and until next time Thank <laughs> you.